describe BCW in a few words. <laughs> God, where do I start? Welcome to this special video where I look back at the time between the years of 2007 and 2011 where I ran a professional wrestling company here in Northern Ireland called BCW, otherwise known to its fans as Banger Championship Wrestling. Now back in 2007, a person from Banger, small town of Banger County Down being myself, had the brainstorm, should we say, to start up his own wrestling company. Now, my goal at the time was to create a wrestling company for my local town and my local community, but also I had a passion for the wrestling business and would do anything to get my foot in the door to either become a wrestler or most importantly, become a promoter. Now back in 2007, after a meeting one Sunday at my own home with my brother and other friends, I came to the decision that I would try my best to try and start up a wrestling company called BCW. Banger Championship Wrestling. Now at the very start, it was quite difficult trying to get number one a venue, number two to get wrestlers, and most importantly, be trained to become a wrestler to put on a show. Now I'll be the first to admit that the years of BCW, most of the guys on the roster were not completely 100% fully trained. They did have some type of training, but they weren't fully trained. So in this video, You'll see some clips from matches that we do encourage you watching this video not to try at home and not be intimidated, especially the younger audience who watch me on this channel and will watch this video as well. So please don't try any of the videos, uh, any of the moves that you see in this video as it is very dangerous. So please don't try this at home. But let's take a look at how the story began. It all began back in 2007, where I decided to set up a wrestling company in my own town where I lived. I emanated originally from Belfast and had a love for professional wrestling right back from the days where I started watching the wrestling in the 80s. So one day I thought to myself, I'm going to try my best to try and get my foot in the door of the professional wrestling business. So I decided to set up my own wrestling company. So at the start of March, the first week of March 2007, BCW was born in the old Banger Leisure Centre in front of a capacity crowd of 38 people. Now myself, that time that night was in the main event. A lot of people still give me the grief to this day why I was in the main event, but I felt time that I was the only person on the roster who could actually carry it because the guys I had on the roster at the time, which I felt were obviously busting their ass to get where they had to be, but weren't at that type of level. So the main event for the first show, believe it or not, was myself against Tony for the BCW Championship, which I won. Which was a very interesting match because halfway through the match, I got knocked out, <laughs> which was quite interesting. But from there guys, I remember leaving the event that night, getting a lot of criticism from different people on the internet, in the public, obviously on the, everywhere you could think of, people were giving us criticism saying, they'll not last five minutes. They won't last a, they won't last a heartbeat. But my goal was to get bigger and better as time went on. And as the months went by, we set up our own wrestling school. We had guys come in who were partly trained before elsewhere, who tried to help out at our training school, which we used to run every Sunday at the old Bangor Leisure Center, which actually the classes grew in numbers as the weeks went by. But we started to create more events as time went on, but slowly but surely as time went on, we got bigger and better. The audiences started to get a little bit bigger, not overly bigger, but they got a little bit bigger. The matches got a little bit better. I'll be the first to admit 
they weren't great, but they got better as time went on. And as I just touched on there, our fan base decided to grow. And as the first year came to the end, our first anniversary show, which was WrestleFest 2, because our first event was called WrestleFest, we held it at the Burr Gymnasium in Bangor, which is no longer here anymore. And we sold the venue out. We had over 250 people in that building that night. And I remember the feeling of being backstage and looking through the curtain and seeing all those people there in attendance that night. I still get goosebumps actually thinking about it back in the day. You know, it was so, such a thrill to see the fans starting to come along and support us. They knew we weren't the greatest wrestlers in the world. They knew we weren't on the caliber of WWE or at the time TNA was pretty big at the time as well. But they knew that we were trying our hardest to live our dream to become at some point a fully professional wrestler. We went out every night busted our ass for the fans whether it wasn't a great match or not but we stuck it up picked ourselves up and went back out again but wrestlefest 2 was the start of our fan base beginning to grow now back in 2008 the internet wasn't obviously a big thing back then compared to now where you've got all your social media platforms the likes of twitter facebook you know instagram snapchat all your different things now um but back then we were determined to try and get the word out somehow that we were about and we were in to try and put on a good show for our fans. And speaking of fans, we did have our loyal fans who used to come to all our shows all the time, who used to dress up as our wrestlers, who used to copy and imitate wrestlers, even, even dressed up as referees, came with their signs, cheered, booed, yelled. I mean, even when I was coming to the ring, I had things thrown at me. I had people make signs and just aim abuse at me. But it was fun because you were going out there and you were enjoying the interaction with the audience. As wrestlers do say even to this day, nothing beats being in front of a crowd. Being in front of a crowd gets your adrenaline going, gets you ready to be out there and ready to go out there and perform to the best of your ability in front of a live crowd. Now at the moment, as this is being filmed, we all know at the moment there is no crowds in professional wrestling because of the COVID-19 situation around the world right now. But one day the fans will return and you'll see again it does up wrestlers performance when they're in front of a live crowd now continuing on with fans i always remember this one time we had this one particular young fan who came to every show he dressed up as the wrestlers he dressed up as his favorite wwe wrestlers he came with signs he cheered he booed he yelled he screamed he got everything he could his name was joe I still am friends with Joe on social media this day. I haven't spoken to young Joe for a long time. He's actually a man now, so <laughs> he's probably watching this and going, oh, damn, we want to your man's mentioned me in this video. But listen, the bottom line was, Joe always gave me something um, to this day, which I kept, and I want to show it to you now. Joe came to one show one night and presented me with this. It was a project that he created, dedicated to his school, completely dedicated to BCW. Now you can see yourself in there. He had photographs, he had a whole write-up. His special uh, stuff that he had, obviously collection of stuff like that, photographs of wrestlers and stuff like that. And I always keep that safe to this day. Because our fans meant a lot, a lot to us. So they did. The, the fans meant so much to us, more than actually they ever realised. Because we used to get a lot of fans from rival promotions saying we didn't give a damn about our fans, we were only there for the money. But to be quite honest with you, and we'll talk about that later on in this video, um, which was not the case. But our fan base was just so superb. I couldn't ask for any more of them to their support. And still to this day, when I'm out and about, people still, I have fans who were young kids who would come up to me and say, hey, you're that guy who used to run BCW guy in there, right? You used to wrestle and stuff. And I'm like, yeah. But the fan base was phenomenal. They were, they were a different type of audience. They weren't like your typical wrestling audience. They were more like our family because they were the ones who came to our events on cold, wet nights, snowy nights, hail, thunderstorms. They came to our events. They were there every, every show with their signs and they were busting their ass to be, I think they can to get there spreading the word as much as they could to help to get us there the fan base was phenomenal I couldn't ask for any more they were just uh, should we say unbelievable they were just a fan base that I will always carry with me in my heart till the day I go to my grave because they were just a fan base that you couldn't it's hard to explain it was just they were such passionate fans and I couldn't ask for any more of them